Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017-18 Panini Status Basketball. Five box, quarter of a case, random team break number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Remember, one spot gets you two teams. So let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. And all 30 are in. Let's randomize each list. Two and a six. Eight times. Your name's first. One, two, three, four, five. Ben Gamble just hit a home run off Syndergaard. Three. What did I say again? <laughs> eight times. Seven and eight. There's eight right there. David Bruins down to Drew Kerr. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, Brooklyn Nets all the way down to the Los Angeles Lakers. All right, David with the Nets, Drew Kerr with the Sixers, TJ you got the Trailblazers, Drew with the Raptors, Tim Hess with the Pistons, Drew with the Cavs, David Shaw with the Nuggets, Drew, Last Spot Mojo, Magic, Other Last Spot Mojo, Knicks, you got the Jazz as well, and the Clippers. Valiant effort by the Clippers against the Warriors that past series. David Bruins with the Bucks, David Shaw with the Heat, Drew Kerr with the Pelicans, David Bruins with the Pelicans, Drew, Thunder, and Suns, David Shaw with the Celtics, TJ with the T-Wolves, Todd Taylor with the Bulls. Shaw, you got the Hawks. Bruins, you have the Hornets. Tim Hess with the Wizards. Jerry with the Spurs. Todd with the Mavs. Jerry with the Grizz. Garrett with the Warriors and Kings. And Drew with the Rockets and Lakers. All right, let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? Remember, we... Put those Wolverine scratch marks on these five boxes. And we got two more two more stacks of status left from that particular case. I think we got one more case after that. I don't know how I don't know how we we must have got a good deal on status. I don't know how we ended up all this. But people seem to like it. Nice little nice little hits from uh, 1718 from last year's draft class. All right. Drew's wondering if there's any chance that David Shaw would, would move the Celtics. Right, might require more than one team if that's the case. Remember, keep your heads in the 17-18 draft class. All right, trade window going once. Trade window going twice. And TWC, trade window closed. Let's print that list out. And let's rip and let's see what we get. First time I noticed it. So they have Lonzo with hair, right? College Lonzo. And then they got Lonzo over here with the haircut. All right, there's a list. And good luck, everybody. I have a couple basketball picks for you guys, folks. I'm on the Sixers. So when are these games starting? 
Now? Are we in progress? Oh my god, we are we are already well well in progress. I've got the Sixers plus six and a half. Uh, they, I might be able to do it. And I'm on Denver money line just to win. I couldn't trust Denver enough to uh, to cover, to lay the points. And Yelich just knocked one out, so there you go. There we go, 63.55. Toronto Raptors are leading in game one of the Eastern Semis. And then I'm sure we'll watch that Spurs-Denver game together a little bit later, too. Guys in the chat talking about talking about Siakam being a good, good buy right now. If Kawhi leaves, he could be the franchise man. You think Kawhi is going to leave, Ray? Lakers could use some help. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Derek White, I think, is a great story too. That's the beauty of bas that's the beauty of basketball. It's much smaller rosters, so so I think greater opportunities for like ran quote unquote randoms to like really, really kind of develop and evolve. Look at Jamal Murray, his his rookie year and no one everyone was like eh, Jamal Murray but wow Pascal Siakam is level for 13 from the field um but look at Jamal Murray his rookie year it just wasn't I don't think anyone was super impressed but he has since become a great player there's Sundarius Thornwell out of 199 Clippers maybe Ray says oh not Clippers Chris Lombardo says, I'll be shocked if he leaves for the Lakers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Lakers are in trouble. They just gotta go, they just gotta roll with the young guys. And there's Bam! Adebayo for the Heat. Freshman signatures going to David Shaw in Miami. So what? You so Chris and Ray, are the Lakers just going to end up maxing Jimmy Butler instead? <laughs> Is that what's going to happen? I guess there'd be, there could be worse players to max. It's out of 149. If I miss any of those serial numbered cards, our, our shipping team will, will catch them. There's Clay. That'll go to... So that Cinderius Thornwell goes to Drew Kerr and the Clippers. Clay Thompson goes to Garrett Kerr, Team Kerr. And then Jared Allen for the Nets. Really like Jared Allen. David Bruins with that one. There's the die cut. There's Hakeem Olajuwon to 149 for the Rockets. DJ Wilson. Now, Drew Kerr does not see Leonard on the Lakers either. All right, fine. Fine. Okay. Way to, way to pop my balloon, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Lombardo's opinion, LeBron going to the Lakers was the worst move he made in his career. It just seemed like a retirement plan to him. Uh, I think we learned our lesson about maxing Luel Deng and Mozgov. Uh, yeah, I think... I think LeBron... And the front office thought it was going to be a lot easier than it turned out to be. I think, I think Magic Johnson thought the job was going to be a lot easier. That they would get LeBron and then free agents would come flocking and, and people will fold uh, and, and make them great trades. And then they would just waltz into the playoff with a super team and they just kick back and put their feet on their desks, right? Turns out then LeBron got injured. Then Lonzo got injured. Then uh, you know, then the team wasn't gelling really well. Then they realized, oh, these are first, second year, third year players who are still evolving into the league. And turns out, you know, so a couple of those players weren't going to turn into Anthony Davis and blah 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 blah. So yeah, then it just all went south from there. But yeah, in a way, I think it was kind of a LeBron transitioning into Hollywood sort of retirement plan. And he just thought it was going to be easy. You know, I'll just waltz in here. 
you know. When the team gets team gets put together, then all of a sudden, ta-da, playoffs, and maybe stumble into a championship on an off year for the Warriors or something like that. And there you go, but it's gone quite the other way. Box two. New breed autograph, Sterling Brown. Milwaukee Bucks. But yeah, Drew's wondering why would Kawhi Leonard leave the leave the easier East for the glory of being on the Los Angeles Lakers. Vucevic could be a Laker. I, I do like Vucevic. Is he a free agent? Like, could he be got? Paul Millsap going to uh, David Shaw in the Nuggets. There's Magic. Good ball player. Good philanthropist. <laughs> Good at raising money for, for important causes. Front office grinder? Maybe not. I feel like we should have never let Julius Randle walk. There's Larry Bird to 149. Garrett needs a, uh, oh, a fox in the box, De'Aaron Fox. There's Pau Gasol. Die cut. And John Stockton to 299 for the Jazz. There's Luke Kennard. Interesting. So Vucevic is a free agent in the offseason. Hmm. Jimmy, Bu Jimmy Butler and Vucevic. And then add AD. Stop toying with me, Ray. I would actually take that. Plus the young core. You know, and even an aging but still good LeBron James. I wouldn't mind that. Healthy Lonzo and his stupid glass ankles. He he has he has the ankles. He has the he has glass Bambi ankles. They seem to be cracking at every moment. Come on, Lonzo. I wonder if the Anthony Davis trade is back on. David Griffin is the new GM for the Pelicans. Does that, you know, he's got a decent relationship with LeBron and clutch sports. I wonder if that, if that Anthony Davis trade is back on before AD just walks as a free agent. Vucevic defense in the playoffs is a question mark to Drew Kerr. <laughs> Lakers just want to get into the playoffs. So I'll, I'll worry about his defense in the playoffs once the Lakers get there. <laughs> I think that change of scenery for uh, Markel Fultz, you're right, Ray. I think that could be a really interesting interesting deal. That's some good value there. First overall pick for not that much. You know? I mean, even if he becomes like a decent six man, I mean, I'll take that with that value. He just becomes a solid starter. Solid guy who played, or not even a solid start, even if a solid bench guy. 20, 25 minutes a game, and you still get good production out of him. I take that. There's Zach Collins. Nice Zach Collins for the Portland Trailblazers. TJ. With old Zach. The guys in Portland, the Portland guys seem to really like him. See him in the playoffs, too. Next series. There's Pau Gasol to 299. There's Magic Johnson, James Worth. Oh, these were the days right here, ladies and gentlemen. These were the days. <laughs> Frank Jackson for the Pelicans, 75. 
There is Anubogu out of 199. And two boxes to go. All right. Yeah, TJ, an autograph. Nice. Next one. Next box. Two more autographs to go. Right. Good luck, everybody. We always have NT basketball in the house, boys and girls. We did a few cases last night. Pulled some nice stuff. A couple of nice Trey Young RPAs. Logo man. I'm sure we can do another another few cases tonight, folks. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Bam Adebayo, rookie credentials to 199, 149. And we've got Dave Collins out of 199. Old Celtic, Dave Cohen. Did he, is Dave Cohen's the one that passed away today, recently? No, it was John Havlicek, sorry. Anyway, there's Dave Collins. Now, Jeremy S. is saying Vucevic is a free agent, but he's already said he wants to stay with the match. It's less humid in Los Angeles. DJ Wilson to 299. I guess weather is equally nice, <laughs> but less humid here. There's Giannis, 51 out of 66. All right. David Bruins with the Bucks. Do the Celtics have a shot at beating the Bucks? I mean, I suppose they have as good a team as any, right? Should be a good series, I think. Drew Kerr, what? You need a, a Donovan Mitchell here? All right. But Garrett needs a De'Aaron Fox. So which which Kerr, which Kerr am I going to please here? <laughs> Jeremy S. This is Jeremy S. saying you can't have another Magic Center. This just you just can't. That's tradition at this point, isn't it? For better or for worse. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. All right, there's Jimmy Butler, T-Wolves edition. There's Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder out of 77. A dual auto problem solved, but no, not problem solved. Out of 299 Clippers. And then I have to randomize. Then it's a one happy Kerr and one sad Kerr. Then there's family infighting. There's Markel Fultz, Relic, 71 out of 99. 
And then it'll be like, it all started when Garrett got the, uh, got the best of me in a randomizer on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Fultz going to, I almost said Magic, but no, in this set he goes to Drew Kerr in the Sixers. Miles Turner to 149. And I think that might be our autograph. No, that's rookie credentials, DJ Wilson. That's uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich to 299. And there's your autograph. It's Damian Dotson, New York Knicks. That goes to Drew Kerr, last spot mojo. There you go. So freshman signatures there. All right. And that's it. You want to? You want one of those base cards, TJ? Is that what you're asking? TJ Leaf there. All right, there you have it, boys and girls. That's it. Another nice break of stuff. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of the status basketball. There'll be more in the store, so keep checking back on not casebreaks.com, but jazbeescasebreaks.com right there. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you later.